Hey everybody, Patrick here from ihelpwithmax.wordpress.com. I'm coming at you live, well, recorded earlier, live from Washington Heights in New York City. I hope you can hear the beautiful reggaeton. It's blasting outside of my window. Word. Have you ever met someone or known someone that just loves their Mac a little too much? Have you ever met someone that's a bit of a control freak, a bit of a neat freak? Or have you ever just wanted to kind of just fool around some, with somebody just for an office prank or what have you? Well, I want to teach you a couple of tricks on your Mac that will get you noticed as a bit of a prankster. The f and, and both of them deal with our desktop. Actually, I'm going to teach you three things today. Number one is super friendly, but will still kind of start a little bit of an office uh, controversy between two Mac users. And it involves photo booth. Look at this beautiful desktop I have here on my 15 inch MacBook, MacBook Pro. What on earth could really mess with that beautiful desktop? A picture of me. Be careful. If you leave your Mac around just opened up for all to see on a desk that I am near, you might come back and see something like this. Let's move down to our finder window. I'm going to open the finder window, as you can see there. I'm going to go to my applications folder, and I'm going to open up a really fun uh, application called uh, Photo Booth. Where on earth is Photo Booth? There it is. Um, I can double click on it. When I select it, I can hold down the command key and then hit the letter O to open it. Lots of different ways to open things on a Mac. I'm just going to double click. Now here, Photo Booth opens. You can see some uh, videos I've recorded, some uh, funny stuff about my son and I were doing together where we can distort our faces and do all kinds of fun stuff. All I'm gonna do is take a picture of myself and it's going to look like this. I click this little icon here and What a lovely photo. Now, how on earth do I make that photo my, des uh, my desktop background? Or if you're a PC user, you might call this your wallpaper. Um, we're just going to learn how to change our desktop background today while also learning how to have fun with our co coworkers. Well, what we're going to do is uh, the easiest way to get to changing our desktop background is simply by right clicking on our desktop. You can't right click on a Mac. Yes, you can. Hold down the control key and then click. That's how you right click. Or if you have a new, uh, a newer Mac, past couple years, with a trackpad, um, uh, you can actually take two fingers and click. And we've just used what's called a gesture. Take two fingers and click. It automatically creates a right click. Isn't that nice? And what's one of the selections we see here? Change desktop background. Let's select that. System preferences, or if you're coming from a PC background, system preferences uh, is like your control panel. System preferences will open up, and then we can take this picture that we just took, this one right here, and just drag it into this where we see this little question mark. I let go, boom, what has happened? There's me. There's my desktop background. Isn't that awful. Now, if you if you don't want to totally mess with someone's stuff, but if you still want to freak them out a little bit, let me teach you another quick trick on the Mac. There's something built into the Mac called universal access. It's really, really popular. It helps people with disabilities uh, use a Mac just as fast as you or I would. It helps people with hearing or vision problems see and navigate through the Mac and hear the Mac uh, like you wouldn't even believe. And one of the things we can actually do on the Mac to help people who have problems with their vision is reverse the colors. I hold down the command key, I hold down the option key, and I hold down the control key and I tap the letter eight while holding those down. And that happens. Isn't that awful? Look at that. So you can actually combine those two things for a little bit of an office prank or just quickly walk by someone's computer, hold down command, option, control, and then tap the letter eight, whoop, reverses the colors. When they come back and look at their screen, they're gonna go, what on earth has happened to my computer? Or they might go, oh, that looks really cool. And they'll ask you how you did it. And then you don't tell them, it's great. I actually know a buddy of mine who changes the colors on his Mac and his iPhone because it actually, after looking at and working on his computer for a long period of time, it puts less of a strain on his eyes. 
So that's just another cool trick. If you find yourself looking at the computer, switching the colors every now and again will give your eyes a bit of a break. Isn't that nice? Now here's a really mean one. I'm going to Command, Control, Option, hit the letter A. I'm going to switch back here. Let's change our desktop background one more time. But this time we're going to change it to a picture that will terrify you. A picture of a cracked Mac screen. Yes. What you can do is you can go uh, uh, open your web browser and do a Google search for cracked Mac screen. And then download one of those images, which I have done to my desktop right here. Once again, we right click on our desktop, change desktop background, that same window opens up, and then we just simply click and drag this cracked screen image onto our desktop. And when someone returns to their computer, obviously if you really look, you can tell this is a photo. But if someone returns to their computer and just quickly glances at their screen, this will terrify them. Ah, what's happened? What's happened? And for those of you that know, a cracked screen for almost any computer is such an, ex as an expensive repair. You might as well buy a new one. Y you just might as well buy a new one, okay? So those are just a couple of tips and tricks that allow you just to kind of have fun in your classroom or with your coworkers or what have you. Other than that, keep checking back to ihelpwithmacs.wordpress.com to see some cool tips and tricks to help you use your Macs and other uh, uh, technological devices uh, easier and have some fun. And also, uh, feel free to shoot me an email, ihelpwithmacs at gmail.com. If you have any questions or if there's something you want to see done on my Mac, just help you learn a little bit further. Have a great day, guys. Uh, talk to you soon.